Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Tech and today in this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of CM13 ROM in Lenovo K3 Note. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, let's talk about the user interface. As you can see from the video, it's more like a stock Android and it is very smooth. But here I have installed Android N theme for CM13. The good thing about this room is that you can change user interface installing themes from Play Store and there are lots of themes available for Cyanogen mod rooms. So I can say this is the best room if you like to change the look and feel of your phone. And now let's go to the settings option. So this is the settings option as you can see Wi-Fi is working fine and Bluetooth is also working fine but Wi-Fi hotspot has some kind of bugs I would say it's uh, it's working but it's not properly working uh, the files are not receiving or something the problem are going on 3g 4g 2g everything is working no issues this is a display and light section and here relative brightness and everything is working here is the settings ambient display is also working there is no double tap to wake up but double tap to sleep is working fine double tap to wake up is not there and there is also an option for LED notification as you can see battery light and notification light the notif you can change the colors but uh, the Lenovo K3 Notes LED light is not multicolored so you will, you will not get uh, all of those colors but notification LED is working and here as you can see the theme center is here I have downloaded more themes uh, from the Play Store those are installed and guys there are tons of themes in Play Store and this is the notification option as always it's the same and let's go to buttons and you can customize the buttons as you can see I have customized the buttons I have uh, kept the menu button as multitasking button so you can change all the buttons whatever you like and let's go to the battery section and I would say the battery is really good here in this room the battery backup is really very good I got over five hours of screen on time easily on my day to be usage let's check the memory management let's go to the memory and as you can see free ram is 187 which is really less but guys uh, free memory is low but the ram management is much better compared to what you see in the stock room or vive ui or miui ram management is good guys this room is very very stable but i found some uh, little bugs I found some force closing issue or something like that but it is very rare I would say as you can see in the status bar you can change the status icons you can enable or disable it you can also change the battery icon and also the clock style so that's not new it's available for a every room now let me tell you about the biggest part of this room which is the internal storage as you can see from here internal storage and SD card is also showing here but I am not able to access internal storage as my portable storage so you can't add files or videos in it so it is the most disappointment thing of this ROM maybe for the latest update of uh, CM13 beta it is fixed so go to that uh, source page and download it and flash it Another thing I would recommend you that go to developer option and uh, downgrade the animation scale to 0.5. It will be a lot more smoother and snappier. So do it. And now let's go to the about phone. And as you can see, the Android version is 6.0.1. Not the latest, but Marshmallow is good enough, I would say. And as you can see, security patch is from uh, June 2016, which is also good. Now, let me download the CQZ application and show you if all the sensors are working fine or not. So, this is the CQZ application, and as you can see, all the codes are working. So, no issues here, and it is in interactive mode. That means it will save uh, your battery, not in performance mode. You can also enable the performance mode from the battery option and here the ram is about 314 megabytes of free ram which is uh, poor i would say but the memory management is still good that's surprising and let's go to sensor department and show you 
and as you can see all the sensors are working fine even gyroscope sensors are working that means you can watch VR using this room even compass app is also working as you can see from the video and it's really accurate and let me tell you about the most important thing about this room the main uh, advantage of this room is the sound quality guys though there is no Dolby Atmos installed uh, it sounds great you have to tweak these settings on Viper for Android FX and it's a new version and as you can see there are lots of it set presets so it's really amazing guys I haven't heard uh, that much of good sound quality ever guys this is the first time that I'm getting this types of sound from my earphones that is audio technia ATA CLR 100 so as you can see this is my setup you can set up it your own but this is the perfect setup for me uh, so do it your own even the loudspeaker is really clear and crisp and very good so if you are a music lover then this room will bring a good advantage for you so that's amazing let's talk about the performance and the performance is very very good here you don't have issue in day to day use. and also the gaming performance is really very good you need to enable the performance mode that will be a lot better in, in terms of gaming but in terms of casual gaming it's not an issue if you want to play very heavy games like asphalt data or nova 3 i would recommend you that uh, do enable the performance mode it will really boost the game uh, so that's it so frankly speaking guys i'm really happy with this room and guys uh, only the internal storage problem is there uh, if you install uh, something third party a uh, file explorer even es file explorer you can't able to access the internal storage so that's a very bad thing that's the main problem i would say but overall it's really really good rom i really recommend you to flash it and use it and guys this is the cm13 beta version 2 uh, already beta version 3 is available so go and flash that it might fix those issues which i've explained here guys most of you have asked me that what is the best rom for lenovo k3 note and if i have to pick then i will really definitely go for the cyanogen mode but in terms of uh, stability everything i will go for the Vi pure room which you have uh, reviewed earlier so check that video if you want that that was really awesome so yeah that's it for this video guys uh, hope you liked it and guys i do apologize for the delay i'm really sorry for that um, so thank you guys for watching you guys always have a great day